Well, we just heard yesterday's theme of RNC Day 3 was Make America Strong once again, focusing on national security and foreign affairs. And our next guest took to the convention stage last night to emphasize just how important it is to have a strong leader once again back in the White House. Take a listen. What we're witnessing today is proof that strength preserves peace and weakness invites war. We can never project strength around the world when weakness stands in the White House. Nations like China see weakness as opportunity. China's fentanyl invades our borders. Their arms supply Putin's regime. China supports enemy states like Iran. They oppress their own people. The world is watching America, and we must show them what we're made of. So for more, I want to welcome in live from the RNC, South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace. Congresswoman, great speech last night. It was all about making America strong once again. But mm -hmm. overall, the theme of the last four days has really been not just unifying the Republican Party, but unifying all Americans. And I have to think that's what Donald Trump will really touch on on his speech tonight. Right, absolutely. One, number one, I want to say it was an immense honor to be on stage uh, last night to tell my story and then talk about American strength because when America is strong, the world is strong. And we've never had a stronger leader than in Donald Trump. And we'll all be safer once he's reelected. There are so many aggressors. Um, and when he was president, our enemies feared him. There was no invasion by Putin into Ukraine or Hamas into Israel. We were all as a nation domestically safer, but the world was a much safer place. Place. And that was the theme on display last night. And I also had the opportunity to talk about women's issues, another uh, important issue to me personally as a suburban mom, as a woman. And Donald Trump supports women. And uh, we wanted to make sure that was on full display also this week at the convention. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been an unbelievable week. Uh, tonight, Donald Trump will uh, address the convention, his first speech publicly since what happened on Saturday. Um, I, I want to get your take on what you're expecting out of the former president tonight. He, uh, he apparently ripped up his speech and has rewritten it almost in its entirety. The theme will be mm -hmm. unifying America. Again, this is a guy that was, that was literally shot in the head on Saturday. Um, I, I can't imagine what this has been like for him just emotionally to try and sort of uh, deal with that um, psychologically and then get out there tonight and, and address you know millions of people um, at home and all over the world. Right, Donald Trump literally took a bullet for our country. I don't know how anyone cannot be changed after that. And I was uh, excited to hear that he ripped up his speech, he rewrote it, and is going to unify not just the Republican Party, but unify a nation. I will tell you, I come from a purple district. In the moments, minutes, and hours after mm -hmm. the attempted assassination of Donald Trump, I heard from people all across the political spectrum. People were literally pulling their cars over to the side of the road, stopping traffic, getting out, and wanted to have a conversation. We're talking about Democrats, Republicans, Black Americans, White Americans, everyone. And everyone has had so many positive things to say. The entire, not just the entire country will be watching tonight, I believe, watching Donald Trump. The world will be watching Donald Trump tonight and give the speech uh, that is most needed right now. He's got resilience. He's got courage. He's ready. He's the man of the moment, and he's going to help lead our nation through his strength out of the chaos and crisis we're all suffering from today. Yeah, we can all see that bandage on his ear. We don't know if he'll be wearing that tonight. I want to pivot to the Secret Service and the assassination attempt on Saturday. So Director Kimberly Cheadle has agreed to testify in front of the House Oversight Committee on Monday to answer the questions of what went wrong on Saturday. She has a lot to answer for. What are your thoughts on all of this? Well, my first thought is she should leave the convention immediately, get back to Washington and start investigating how in the heck was this even possible? How did this happen? I'm on the oversight committee, so I'll be participating in the hearing at 10 a.m. on Monday. And I hope I hope she shows up. Uh, so far, we've had difficulty getting uh, briefings on time from the Secret Service. Uh, we did hear from Christopher Ray yesterday afternoon from the FBI. Um, but the American people have questions and they deserve answers.